hello my dear children i hope you are all doing good and you are safe at home today we have yet another interesting topic which is new life in the cross and resurrection so are you ready to see what we have for today let's have a look we all know that in the season of lent that we are constantly working on our weakness and that we are moving forwards towards jesus and this is possible because of what jesus did to us on the cross jesus saved us from all our sins by dying on the cross for us and that means when we believe in jesus that he truly forgives us we do not have to go back to living the same old sinful ways because jesus set us free and now we have new life in him in john chapter 12 verse 24 it says unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies it remains only a single seed but if it dies it produces many seeds what do you think this bible verse means jesus is telling all his followers how as christians it is important that we no longer do the same things that we like to do but we have to do what he wants us to do and i understand that this can be very difficult because even i struggle with that sometimes we can be so angry at a person and we may not want to talk to that person or even look at their face but as children of jesus we cannot be like that dying to ourselves means we need to be able to love those who hurt us and that's exactly what jesus did to all of us on the cross we have to die to ourselves so that we can be who god wants us to be Jesus gave up his life for us. So let's ask God to really help us in following him 100% and let's ask God to change our hearts to be more like Jesus. And now let's watch a small video clip. and here is a small memory verse for you galatians chapter 2 verse 20 i have been crucified with christ and i no longer live but christ lives in me i hope you enjoyed today's lesson i want you to take this seriously and think of the different ways of how you can grow closer to god so let's remember and not forget and also try to practice what we learn and i want to end with a small word of prayer let's pray dear lord jesus i thank you lord for today uh, thank you jesus that we all have this opportunity to learn about your word father we thank you jesus for the life that you have given each one of us as believers lord i pray jesus that you will uh renew us from inside out for the lord so that we can just live a life that is new father i pray jesus that you will help us to get rid of our sinful ways and to walk towards you because you have set us free 
I pray and commit the rest of the day in your hands. And I ask all this in Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. Till I see you next, take care all of you and may God bless you all. Bye.